Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, you will learn how to grow in friendship in a purposeful and intentional relationship. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 27 verse 9, Sweet friendships refresh the soul and awaken our hearts with joy. For good friends are like the anointing oil that yields the fragrant incense of God's presence. Courtship Goals is going to be a few series and this is video number one. My name is Ola Polavi. I teach biblical principles and Christian values for building healthy relationships and loving lasting marriage God's way. If you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this video with your friends and family. Also tap the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new YouTube video. Courtship is a committed relationship where there is mutual agreement to pursue marriage. You can enhance the quality of your courtship by growing in friendship love. Friendship is God's idea and is one of the foundations of a successful marriage. God said in Genesis chapter 2 verse 18, It is not good for the man to live alone. I will make a suitable companion to help him. You cannot build your marriage on romantic love alone. Friendship is needed to sustain your commitment to be together. When you're best friends with your intended spouse, you're on the path to a long-lasting, healthy and loving marriage relationship. Jesus is the best friend that you can ever have. In my last video, I discussed why it is important for a believer to get married to someone within the household of faith. I encourage you to watch this video. You must keep Jesus at the center of your relationship. So, for you to deepen your friendship during courtship, you must be real with each other. Spend time talking about your goals, your interests, and your perspectives about different areas of life. Share your personal feelings and thoughts honestly including your thoughts, your doubts, and your fears. One of the things that prevents people from being real is the fear of rejection. But for you to know yourselves for real, you must face this fear by being open and genuine. The friendship we have with Jesus Christ is a reality. We have access into the deep things of God by the power of the Holy Spirit. If you truly love someone, you will show them your true self. Be authentic and don't try to be someone you're not. Covering up your weaknesses is not an option either. Instead, give your intended spouse the opportunity to love you unconditionally. If you're sincere and transparent with each other, you'll be able to address any issues that may jeopardize your happiness in the future. A good marriage cannot be built on lies and deceit. In Ephesians chapter 4, verse 25, the Bible says, so, discard every form of dishonesty and lying, so that you will be known as one who always speaks the truth, for we all belong to one another. Secondly, you must be there for each other, not just when things are going well, but also during challenging times. Your love for each other will be tested when the going gets tough. Pray for each other and steer one another up onto good works. This is like making deposits into your bank account and you will reap great dividends for it. According to Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verses 9 and 10, two people are better off than one for they can help each other succeed. If one person falls, then the other can reach out and help, but someone who falls alone is in real trouble. True friends show genuine interest in each other's pursuits and goals. Don't focus on what you can gain from your relationship. Rather, focus on being a good friend by making sacrifices and putting the other person's interests above yours. Jesus Christ demonstrated this sacrificial love in John chapter 15 verses 12 and 13. He says, This is my commandment that you love and unselfishly seek the best for one another, just as I had loved you. No one has greater love, no stronger commitment than to lay down his own life for his friends. Your friendship with your intended spouse must reflect the friendship you have with Christ. Also, your time together must draw you closer to God. God bless you and I look forward to sharing with you how to build spiritual intimacy in courtship goals part two.